Welcome to the world of concurrent enrollment, also known as high school enrollment programs that you can do at literally all 116, yes, you saw me put say 160 California community colleges. So you can take advantage for free if you are a ninth grader, 10th grader, or 11th grader to take courses at any of the community colleges and there's a full array of courses. Now, seniors, you could take advantage of this and find out specific transfer courses to take advantage of, um, but your process would be a little bit different and your college counselor will guide you on that. But for all those other high school students who want to take advantage of free courses, how do I get involved? Well, it's, it's a great way of taking classes, but you need to get on it right away. You see here, there's this concurrent enrollment course form. This is a PDF form that you would need to fill out at the community college. The nice thing is in San Mateo County, there's three that you could check out, Kenyatta, Skyline College of San Mateo. Now you have to fill out this form and label as concurrent enrollment, put in your information and the courses. So do I put my high school ID? No, no, no. You will actually need to go to here to CCC apply pick the school you're going to apply to, let's say it's Kenyatta, click apply and fill out that application. So you wanna make sure you fill out that application because in a couple of days then you'll get what's called a GID number at City College of San Francisco, it's a double, uh, there's a W number. So you'll get a specific one in a specific college email as well too. Now, after you get that, don't wait, you wanna kinda of look at different classes. So. We're gonna look at San Mateo Community Colleges. Again, this is um, many different ones, uh, a Kenyatta College San Mateo Skyline. And we're gonna go to the website here, you see is web schedule. And I can go and look at all three classes. I could say, hey, I wanna look at more options. You could take a class in person, but let's just say you're not sure what your plans are right now, or you want to have that flexibility of having it online. And keep in mind, when it's online, it's very different. You do the, the lesson plan on your own time. You just have deadlines of when to take the test and to do the assignments. So it doesn't mean like it's Monday and Wednesday every day. So if I want to look for a class that has that, and I want to make sure that, let's say if I get a B in it, be calculated as a 4.0, and maybe I'll have college transfer, I'm going to click what's called here, All I Get See. Once I get to, it's basically saying that even a challenging school like UCLA will approve those courses. Yes, you'll get college credit. So these courses are viewed even stronger and higher than an AP course because you'll get a letter grade and the credit. And then look at all these different cool classes you could take, right? And you know, you could take administrative justice, anthropology. Do you not even know what anthropology is? Well, here's the beautiful thing is you go out and check out what cultural anthropology is. Here we go, right? You, If this is a class you're interested in, here is the, um, the abbreviation. This is considered the title. Here's that course number, right? Why is this important? Because remember that form that I showed you? You have to fill out that form. That's something that's really important for you to do. Um, sorry about that. And then from there, you're going to need to put that information down this section. Now, here you're going to put online for no time, and then the units and section. Wait, what is that information? Well, let's go back, and then we'll check it out. Well, here's the units, and then if you keep scrolling down, there's the section that you write down. But wait, can anyone take it? Well, what you want to make sure is you pick a class that has no prerequisites, right? So we usually don't recommend students take an English, science, or math um, because they're very challenging. And take a course that you really enjoy. That's why uh, the community colleges want you to see your high school counselor, right? Um, to know how to go through this process, right? If you don't take math um, or English class, you don't need to do an assessment process. And then you have to upload your request on WebSmart. Then they'll give you a date and time to register for your classes. But keep in mind, college students have a first priority over you. So that means that when you go and fill out your form, make sure even though you're taking one class, you fill out all these other ones. Fill this all out and then you're gonna upload it through your portal, whether it be the WebSmart program, which you can find over here, um, or 
offered through other community college programs. And in addition, you can find out who your teacher's going to be and check them out, right? So here's the name of the teachers. How? Well, there's a thing called RateMyProfessor.com, right? So you can put the name of the professor. Yes, RateMyProfessor.com does have a lot of advertisements, but they can tell you, like, is this teacher great? Then the closer to a five, the greater they are. How challenging it is, right? One means super easy, five means super hard. How many students would take that class again? And then sometimes you'll get some ratings and then other information about the class. Key thing is, is to put your application right away. Do not overload yourself and take something that you're really passionate about and good luck.